everybody, and welcome back to Harvest Moon Animal Parade New Game Plus. And oh my goodness, we have a visitor at the door. Let's see who it is. Oh, hello, Bo. I bow to you. Good morning, Tim. The bridge is all fixed. Hooray! Now we can finally go to the Garmin Mines area and see the Harvest Goddess. That is amazing! Oh, and if you look at the weather, it's cloudy right there in the top left corner there. Too bad it's not raining. Otherwise, we could we didn't wouldn't have to water our crops on our own. Oh well, it's time to get the deed done. And while we're at it, I think it's time to clear up all that uh, all those uh, trees in our in our field. We don't really need them, and they're just kind of in the way. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of some weeds really quick, and then I'm gonna chop the weeds the trees down, and it's gonna be so much fun. Uh. Yarg! Yarg! Alright, let's water our crops really quick. Hooray! Uh, this is so much fun! Harvest Moon is definitely not a game for everyone. If you... If you prefer, uh... If you prefer, like, first-person shooters, that's fine. If you prefer, uh action adventure like uh, Legend of Zelda or something, that's fine too. But don't diss games uh, just because they're they're different from what you from what you normally get. Uh, Harvest Moon is definitely one of those games that I expect people to make fun of. Uh, and yet, everywhere I go I hear a lot of praise for it, so I don't, I don't really get to what's going on here. But uh, I'm glad that Harvest Moon is as popular as it is. All right, so now that we've gotten all that out of the way, let's grab our axe really quick and chop these trees down. And as you can see, due to our skill and our stamina, our stamina is barely going down at all. That is freaking ridiculous. Oh, man. I mean, look at that. We're still mostly full. What I'm doing here is continuously pressing the A button. That allows us to to get uh, to get more uh, uh, more more done uh, while uh, while keeping up the work that we have. Oh man! Oh man! Jeez, I missed. Hiya! Hacha! 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 I speak Japanese! Uh, gotta thank uh, PewDiePie for that one. Alright then. So. Let us continue chopping down trees. Oy, oy, oy. We barely get any sticks out of these. That's because these trees are not fully grown. Which really sucks. But, we're going to have to deal with it. If these trees were fully grown, then maybe it would have been a lot easier to handle the stuff, but they're not. So let's just uh, get, get rid of these stumps and these cherry trees. And, uh, yeah. Alright, you know what? I'm going to cut the rest of this out. So, uh, once I'm done with the, ch with the cherry trees and taking care of our cow, I'll see you guys. I'll, I'll uh, bring it back up. So, see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty then. Um, we've gotten all the all the trees out of the way. We've taken care of our cow and our crops. So I'm going to take care of something really quick before uh, before we uh, do anything else. I'm going to uh, set up set up some uh, plot over here to be used in near future. Uh, the reason for that being that we're going to need some grass, and I have a pretty good idea of how much grass I want. So, we just clear that area up for grass. Um, let's see, can any of these be picked? No, they cannot. Those are potatoes, by the way. We're going to need those for later. Until until they're all done, however, we're just going to head for the Garmin Mines and hopefully see the Harvest Guys. I'll see you guys in the Garmin Mines area. You know what? I Never mind. I'm not going to I'm not going to cut that out. Uh, the reason being that I just wanted to talk with you guys. So, how are you guys doing? It's, it's uh, kind of rainy near where I am. There's, it's thundering and whatnot, and 
If I had a dog, I'm pretty sure that it would be freaked the fuck out. But, um, I don't have a pet at the moment. I used to, but unfortunately, she died a few years ago. Uh, poor, poor dog, Angel. Um, but, yeah, there's that. Anyway, Bo is still hanging out here by the bridge. We don't need to worry about that, about him, so let's go over here. And this is the Garmin Mines area. Isn't he pretty? Not really. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist, and I'm moving my mic a little close to my mouth so that I don't have to speak so loud. Alright, and look, there's a little rail. Ooh, I wonder where that goes. We're gonna have to find out later. And oh my goodness, are those houses built into the freaking... Jesus Christ. Alright. This is the Garmin Mines District. We, we're really close to the Harvest Goddess now. The Heart Goddess Spring is just up ahead. Well, that's fantastic, Finn. Let us go and see the Harvest Goddess. 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 How many times am I going to say that before you guys get sick of it? Probably a lot. And... We have another cutscene. Oh, joy. And if we show up here... Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, These animals do not look happy. Yikes. Please let us through. We need to see the Harvest Goddess. That monkey especially doesn't sound happy. I don't think they'll let us through, Tim. Really? I never would have guessed. Please, what do we need to do to get through? And all those animals are angry now. It's no use. They look angry. They won't even listen to us. Well, we don't have much of a choice. We can't get past them. What can we do to show the animals that we're their friends? Tim, do you know anyone who understands animals? Not really. But, uh, why don't we introduce ourselves to the people here? Maybe we'll find somebody that'll, that'll teach us how to get past the animals. Um, gotta wait for 8 o'clock for all the buildings to open. And... Welcome to the Carpenters. And guess what? We have another freaking cutscene. That's just fantastic. Oh, look, a doggy! Doggy! I like doggies. Oh, customer. We don't get many of those these days. Oh, you're that newcomer I've heard about. What can I do for you? Hi. Wah, 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 wah. Ah, you took over that old ranch. I'll bet that barn could use some fixing up. Along with the house and the coop. Mm, I can barely do any work these days, though. What? Why not? I want a, I want a better house, damn it. Trees are growing slow these days, and lumber is hard to come by. I'm worried about my son. He went out to find lumber and has come home yet. Really? Where did he go? Mm. There's Fuke Forest over by Flute Fields. I think that's where he went. That forest is like a maze. And my idiot son has no sense of direction. <laughs> But let me introduce myself. I'm Dale the Carpenter. This is my trusty friend, Boss. He was born to run. Aw, that's adorable. If you see my son, tell him to come home. His name is Luke. Alright, will do. We have to go see the Harvest Guys before going to the view forest. <laughs> I love how Finn freaks out like that. Anyway, let's talk to Dale. He has a pet. Maybe he can do something about the animals. Ah, right, Tim. How's it going? <laughs> what? You want to know how to befriend animals? Mm, follow me. All right, if you say so. Hooray, we're going to learn how to befriend animals. Tim, in order to befriend an animal, you have to open your heart to it. Yeah, will do. When, you, when you've been with one for years, you know what they're thinking and feeling. Okay, then. 
All right, boss, come on, buddy. Boss, spin around. Oh, that's adorable. Good boy. Now up. That's a really simple trick. That was incredible, though. It takes a lot of time and work to train an animal this well. But I'll give this to you, Sinjir Beginner. It'll help you, too. Um, that ain't good. Huh? Where did it go? Did I drop it somewhere? The animal whistle helps you communicate with animals. Uh, where's the animal whistle, though? I seem to have lost it. Where could it be? Hmm, I had it went with me when I went to the general store. Uh, well, looks like we know where to go next. In any case, here's a book on how to use the whistle. Read it when you have the time. Got an easy animal whistle. It's been added to your bookshelf. Let's go to the general store, Tim. We can ask them if they've seen the animal whistle. No problem, Finn. Ow, I just bit my freaking tongue. Ugh. Ow. Ow, my tongue hurts. Ow. That's what you get for recording, you bastard. Oh, that was a bit of a delay on the music. Oh well, we have a cutscene. And it's green haired woman. This is Simon's wife. Welcome! Ah, you're the rancher the mayor told me about. I'm Barbara. Nice to meet you. I run the general store. Let me know if you need any tools for your ranch. No problem, Barbara. Let me give you this as a welcoming present. Oh my goodness! Thank you! Got Castanet Guide Volume 1. It's been added to your bookshelf. It has lots of information about the nature around these parts. Alrighty then. Um. Uh oh. Is Phoebe still not home? Not yet. Uh. Hey, don't look so depressed in front of a customer. Hello, Simon. Tim, please find Phoebe. She went into the mines and hasn't come back yet. She's my only daughter. I can't sleep because I'm so worried about her. Honey! Uh oh. <laughs> Random. I'm sorry. My husband gets so worried about Phoebe. But she's a tough kid. I've been telling him there's nothing to worry about. But if you see her, please tell her we're worried about her. No problem, man. So, there's another kid that's gone missing. Oh well, we'll worry about that later. Right now, we need to focus on our own selfish needs. Oh, Tim, how is everything going? I don't know why I said, oh, Tim, like that. An animal whistle? What's that? Something Dale dropped? I sweep up every day, but I haven't found anything. Ah, crud. But if my husband found it, he'd probably try to find out what it was worth. Oh, okay then. You should go talk to Julius at the, at the accessory store. The accessory store is right next door. Thank you for telling us, Barbara. Alright, let's get out of here. Go to the next door. Oh, man, this is turning into a big wild goose chase. Uh, I'm having so much fun. Really, this is a fun game once it gets started, but it, it takes a long time to get started. Anyway, this is the accessory store. Let's go talk to the let's go talk to the guy that works here. And it's 6:10. I should probably text my mom. Oh well, I'll text her in a little bit. Ah oh, man. Hello. This is the accessory store, but we don't have anything to sell right now. Um. What? Do you have a problem with that? Well, too bad! Uh, we didn't mean any offense. <sighs> the owner, my boss, died a year ago. I guess there's nothing left to do but close the shop down. Um, I should make jewelry? No way. I can't get any decent gems from the mines here. 
I'm an artist. I can't create beauty without fine gems to work with. Anyway, I'm Julius. What's your name? Hmm, Tim, huh? Hey, why don't you take over the store? No, I'm a rancher. No, thank you. <laughs> this was my boss's baby. I can't just give it away. <sighs> if only Mira would take it over, but she's in no shape to. Uh, Mira? Oh well. Let's talk to Julius here. Oh, Tim, what's wrong? You look a little down. An animal whistle? I've never heard of it. Oh, it's a whistle that Simon brought over here to have the praise? Um... Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, he brought me an orange whistle. He was hoping it would be valuable. I told him it was just a toy and he was disappointed. He said he'd give it to Chloe. You should ask at the blacksmith's. Chloe is a little girl who lives there. The blacksmith's is right next door. Alright, thanks for telling us, Julius. Sorry I gave you such a bad voice. <laughs> I really should focus on my voices when I do them from now on. Uh, hopefully I didn't accidentally mute my mic. No, I did not. Okay. We're all good to go. Here's the blacksmith. Let's get, let's get this over with. Oh, man. Oh, uh, boy. Ding, 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 ding. Uh-oh. Eh? Who are you? I haven't seen you before. You're the new rancher. I'm Ramsey. Nice to meet you. Sorry that I'm a bit silent there. You can get your farm tools upgraded here! Well, you used to be able to. Lately, the fire just won't burn hard enough. It's the strangest thing. And I can't upgrade tools without a good fire. My apprentice Owen went down to the mines to see if he could find out what's up. He's been down there a while, though. Guess he hasn't found anything yet. I'm proud of that kid. He never gives up. You've got to be tough and tenacious, especially when the going gets rough. Alright, let's ask the Ramsey if if we if he has the orange whistle that we need. How's work going, Tim? What kind of whistle? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it'd be an orange whistle that was given to Chloe. No, I haven't seen her in a while. Oh man. Well, if she got a new toy, she probably wanted to show it off to Owen. Owen is always in the mines. He's been getting deeper down, so be careful if you're going to go look for him. Uh, thanks for letting us know. Alright, to the mines. Ay ay ay. This is gonna take a while. Ay 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 I should sit down. Uh, there we go. That's better. Alright. So last but not least, here's the mines. Maybe we can finally get that freaking whistle. You're new. Are you the new rancher I heard about? Yeah. Are you Owen? Well, I'm Owen. I'm Ramsey's apprentice. Nice to meet you. Well, Owen, do you have a do you happen to have a certain orange whistle that we that we looking? Oh, we are not talking about that. Fires in this town haven't been burning hot enough re lately. Weird, right? I came down here to try to figure out what's causing it, but I'm still clueless. Uh, are you giving us the whistle? Hey, this is your first time in the mines? You'll need this if we're mining. It's a little old and heavy, but it'll get you started. Um, thanks. 
Scott Hammer. Now you can break rocks into material stone. Good luck. See you around. Wait, 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 wait. No. I... No. Well, he just went into the mines. We're going to have to chase after him. But we're not going to do that until the next episode. So, until next time, I'll see you guys 